All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm going to say double honors to the elder apostles of GMS that rule well, because that's who we learn this truth from. All right, the 100% truth, okay? I want to say Shalom to all the Hakim out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, okay? I'm out here another week, just to bring out these scriptures, okay? Wake the people up, all right? Let the scriptures say, go out to the highways and the hedges, all right? Highways and byways. So that's what we out here doing, okay? And uh, just gonna get right to it, man. Not gonna waste no time, all right? Because the whole purpose of, of coming out here is basically to wake up the people and let, let them know who they truly are, okay? According to the scriptures, all right? And according to the scriptures, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, like it says right here on this sign, are the true children of Israel, okay? All right? It's not those damn uh, Khazars, Malachites, Okay, the so-called white man that's over there in Israel right now. Okay. Those are imposters, fakes, okay, and they're Jewish. Okay. It means they're similar to okay, the Jews, but they really are not, okay? They're not similar similar at all, man. They're a bunch of witches, warlocks, okay? They're just a bunch of imposters, man. Bottom line, okay? So who are the true children of Israel? Okay? Like I said, it's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Just like it says in the scriptures, all right? Where can you find that? You can find that in Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay? Pursuant to the curses, that's how you know who you are, okay? All right? You're not a bunch of uh, African Americans, okay? You're not, you're not uh, uh, blacks, okay? You're not niggers, okay? Or negritos or whatever other byword they, they uh, put on you, okay? You're the children of Israel, you're the children of the Most High, okay, according to the scriptures. That's what we're gonna bring out, all right? Uh, let me just get the scripture right here. Okay, the, 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 time, the time of these so-called white people is done, man. All right, America is finished, man. All right, most of the people that you see uh, uh, panhandling, okay? Which they're, they're, they're really not hurting for anything, in all honesty. Okay, they're just trying to make a quick buck. Okay? A lot of those uh, panhandlers walk around with, with more money in their pocket than uh, the average person at any given time, man. But you know what? That's how they make their quick buck, man. They deceive you and they, play, they prey on your, um, they prey on your, your, uh, your sympathies. Okay? So let me get this right here, man. This is uh, Matthew chapter 15, 24, okay? Well-known well known verse right here, all right? And it says, uh, well, let me just go back. All right, this is uh, 15 and 21, all right? And the word here they use is, is Jesus, but we know that's not the name of Hamashiach, okay? The Messiah, the true Savior, okay? We know his name is really Yahweh Shai, all right? So it says, Then Yahweh Shai went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. Okay, so this woman came out, came out of Canaan. Okay. And she may have been a, a, a Canaanite, or she may have been an a, a Israelite. Okay. Meaning she may have been a, 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 a daughter of Ham, okay? Or she may have been a, a daughter of Israel, who, who lived in Canaan at the time, okay? But either way, it says, a woman of Canaan came out the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word, okay? So he didn't answer, okay? Because why? Yahweh Shai was looking to wake up the children of Israel, okay? Right? That's who he was looking to wake up, the children of Israel, okay? Just like you, brother. You're, you're, are you a, uh, a so-called African-American? Yeah, I guess. Okay, all right. So according to the scriptures, all right, you're not an African-American like they call you, okay? You will probably be uh, a child of, a child of uh, a Judah, okay? Where, where your father, where's your father from? Where at? 
born in, in Tennessee. Okay. All right. So yeah, if he, if he was born here in, in the U.S., okay, so-called African American, he's probably uh, uh, most likely an Israelite, which will make you an Israelite. Okay. So what you got to do is you got to wake up, come back to the scriptures, man. Okay. Because a lot of times we find ourselves in the condition that we're in, we'll be gone off. Okay. All right, now I'm not talking about coming back and be, being a Christian, okay? Because that Christian doctrine is nonsense. That's what has our people in the condition that they're in. Okay, we got to wake up to, to, the, to the scriptures and understand who we truly are, okay? All right, which is part of 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Like you see on the sign right here. You got African Americans, the children of Judah, okay? West Indians, Benjamin, okay? Jamaicans, all right? Haitians. All right, they really fall up under these 12 tribes right here, okay? They call us African-Americans, blacks, niggers in some cases, okay? They got all these different names for us, okay? But the, who we really are can be found in the scriptures, all right? Let me, go, let me go back, all right, just to show you a couple of things, all right? All right, that's why, that's why, that's why you out here, okay? All right, that's why, you got, that's why you got that cigarette in your hand right now. Okay? Our people, our people didn't smoke cigarettes. Okay? Our people didn't smoke cigarettes in the past. Okay? They had tobacco. They had other other things. Okay? Some of them might have had marijuana and all this other stuff. Okay? But first of all, it wasn't laced with any other any other chemicals and stuff. Okay? It was pure. Alright? And we smoked it during during ritual times. Okay, when we would be with our family. Okay, sitting around, uh, telling our traditional stories and stuff. We would smoke the, uh, smoke the peace pipe, okay? And now we have some different herbs and stuff in there. But cigarettes like they got them now, laced with a bunch of chemicals, okay? To make them more addictive, okay? And to kill our people off, okay? All right, they made to kill our people off. All right, but let me get, let me just go back to the, uh, to the beginning uh, real quick. a couple of scriptures out, out the word man because this is this is this is what's going to keep our people in these times man all right it's about to get real real hard it's already been hard for our people anyway it's but it's about to get even harder out here okay this is what we got to come back to if we're going to make it all right okay so the, the, the scripture says genesis chapter 49 okay i'm gonna start the chapter uh verse one it says and Jacob, okay, whose name was changed to Israel, he's the father of these tribes right here. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. So even back in Genesis, they were talking about the last days, even in the very beginning, because they knew what was coming, okay? And he says, gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. So our father is Jacob, okay? And his name was changed to Israel. That's, that's who our father is. It's not, it's not somebody from Africa, okay? Or what they, what they call Africa today, all right? So we're not no damn uh, African Americans, okay? We're not, not no damn blacks, okay? This, this uh, bag right here is black. Okay, your face, your face, okay, my face, okay, his face, his face, they're not black, okay, they're brown, different shades of brown, okay, you're, you're dark brown, he's a lighter brown, I'm a light brown, okay, so we're not black, okay, but that's what we got, we got to get that out of our head first of all, and then we got to understand who we truly are, okay, which is Israelites, all right, children of Israel, all right, you know that brother, you know you're Israelite? Okay, according to the scriptures. Okay. That's the first person. Got a lot of people in my family, man. Moors, Sunni. So, okay. uh, hey, man, they all get together. So, they, Sunni? Um, I got a brother that's, he, first he was saying he, he, he was the Israelite studying and a lot of stuff, man. So, I just be wondering how do anybody know? Okay. The, the, uh, the scriptures say the spirit, the spirit bear witness. Okay. All right. So the spirit bear witness to who, to who you are. But you can go back to the curses 
okay, in Deuteronomy chapter 28 to understand who you are, okay, from a, a realistic and a historical standpoint, okay? Let me go ahead and bring some of those out, all right? Tribes. All right, yeah, the 12 tribes. So if, if any of your uh, peoples uh, who, you know, fall under these uh, names, these bywords right here, okay, then there's a very good chance, okay, through the spirit, uh, that there are these people in the physical, okay? All right. Well, let me go ahead and get Deuteronomy chapter 28 and let you and let you hear some of these, okay? And you judge for yourself. All right. After hearing the scriptures, okay? In fact, I just got off the phone with my my cousin Haji. He he's a moor and he was just talking some stuff more? to me. Well, yeah, you know, he deep off into the studies and things, you know. Well, you know, we we you know. The brothers, the brothers of uh, GMS and, and, and um, you know other camps that that are you know teaching the 100% gospel, 100% truth. You know we've dealt with Moors before. A lot of times, your Moors are, are Israelites, okay, but they've gone off into these other doctrines because they're searching for truth. They're truth seekers, okay. So they've gone off into these other doctrines, uh, five percenters, uh, the Moors, Moor science, uh, Egyptology and all this other stuff, look, looking for the truth, when the truth has been in this book the whole time, okay? But they've told us lies about this very book, okay? They say it was written by uh, the so-called white man, which it wasn't, okay? They say that King James, okay, coming out the King James Bible right here, they say King James was a homosexual, all right? Which is complete and utter nonsense, okay? King James was actually who they would call a, a black man, okay? He was a so-called black man, all right, like you and I. And they found uh, they found coins. Okay, they found coins and stuff like that minted during that time. The King James picture on there looks just like you and I. All right, it's got curly hair. Yeah, coins, you know, precious metals, stuff, silver and stuff like that that were minted during that time. And the man on the uh, coin looks just like us. And at the top of it, it has Jacob. Okay, now why does it have Jacob at the top? Okay. Why? Because even he knew who he truly was. Okay? He knew he was an Israelite. Well, Jacob's name was changed to Israel. I know Jesus was, was dark, was black. Well, yeah, yeah. And his name, his name is, uh, his name isn't Jesus. Okay? All right. His name is really Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, so, so that that the whole the whole book is is uh, has been uh, perverted. Okay? Not the book itself. But people have built doctrines on this book that have perverted the message. Is that the Bible? Yeah, the scriptures. I just got this. just a case for it. All right. All right. This is the Holy Bible, authorized King James Version. Okay. I was just wondering, like, when I was reading, I read the Bible, the Quran, and I was wondering, like, they changed it a lot. Uh, I was wondering, well, like, got, man, you know, is everything in there true, or is it just, or well, is it fabricated, like, to a stick? It's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. And a lot of things are coming out now to prove that it's true. You know they just found, uh, and I, I'm, I'm going to say that and then I'm, I'm going to get the scripture, but you know they just found a ring that belonged to Pontius Pilate. Now who was uh, Pontius Pilate in the, uh, in the scriptures? I don't know. Okay, Pontius Pilate was the one who gave, who, who gave his decree, okay, under his word to allow uh, Christ, okay, who they ignorantly called Christ, Amashiach, to be hung on the cross. <laughs> Okay, because they bought the matter before him, and he said, "Okay, well, you know, just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna wash my hands up. All right, all right. And I'll, I'll get that later. I'll get that, that uh, those scriptures later. But he basically, uh, when they took the matter to him, he basically said, "I'm gonna wash my hands up, and y'all do what y'all do." With. He's a, he's a Jew because Pontius Pilate was, a, uh, was considered a, a Roman, okay, so-called white man at the time. So he said, "I'm gonna wash my hands of it." Okay, you guys do what y'all want to do with it. You do, you guys handle two matters amongst yourself. Okay, but they needed his uh, nothing. He was an official at the time, so just like today, nothing gets done unless an official signs off on it. Okay, he had to stamp it. That, that was his way of signing off on it. He had to uh, signify that thing so that it will go through. Well, they just found his. Uh, actually, they found his ring in 1960. 